now of identities, proving the left-hand side is equivalent to the right-hand side. And so I've got a nice one here, and this one is where things get a little bit more interesting. It's 1 plus cos of 2a, 1 plus cos of 2a, divided by cos of 2a. And we want to show that that is equivalent to tan of 2a over tan a. Now, some of the students came back and they said this one seemed particularly tough, simply because um, they weren't able to prove exactly from the right-hand side all the way to the left-hand side. So something I want to drill home is that you should attempt the question. You'll probably find that it's a tricky one. Um, and then you need to review what's your strategies, right? So one strategy is to start on the left-hand side, go equal to da 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 and then show all the way that it's equivalent to the right-hand side. The other strategy to do is to start on the right-hand side, right, and you work all the way, and then you show that it's equivalent to the left-hand side. But there's, there's a third strategy. So the third strategy would say, okay, let's start on the left-hand side, right, get stuck at a point, and let's call this point alpha and then start on the right hand side, work all the way, get stuck at a point, and if you get stuck at the same point, such that you've shown that the left hand side is equal to alpha, and the right hand side is also equal to alpha, then you can conclude that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay, so that's one of the appropriate strategies. So once you've attempted this question, you'll come to notice that there's no way I can get all the way from here to there um, unless I'm using an identity for tan 2a, right? However, that's not part of the grade 12 curriculum. So we're going to start on the left-hand side and we're going to say, okay, the left-hand side is equivalent to 1 plus cos of 2a, right? Divided by cos of 2a. And then we're going to go further and we'll say, okay, that must be 1 plus 2 cos squared a minus 1, right? So here's where the foresight comes in. I've chosen that identity because I want the 1 and the minus 1 to cancel out, right? Because I'm working towards something that doesn't have any, any numbers in, per se. Divided by cos 2a, which is just 2 cos squared a minus 1. Okay, from here, if I change this to sine squared a, sine squared a, I'm not going much further. So I'm going to say, let's start on the right-hand side now. And that must be equal to tan of 2a divided by tan of a, right? And I've got an identity for that. That's going to be sine of 2a divided by cos of 2a, and that's the numerator that I see on top, all over sine of a divided by cos of a. Right. Now that's a fraction, and as you know, with a fraction, I can tip in times. Um, let's use sky blue over here. I'm going to say it's sine 2a, which you know is an identity, and I'm going to change that identity right away. I'm going to change that into 2 sine a multiplied by cos of a, all divided by cos of 2a, which I know is 2 cos squared a minus 1. And then I'm going to tip in times. So that's my first fraction, right? This thing over here is the same thing as this over here. Now, tip in times says, okay, I'm going to multiply that. I'm going to use the reciprocal of sine over cos a, which is cos a over sine a. Okay. At this point in time, I'm going to look at all of these as factors, right? Because I've got now a factor here times something over there, something times something times something, and everything is factorized. And that means I can cancel out. So I'm going to cancel out sine A with sine A. And now I'm going to say 2 times cos A times another cos A gives me 2 cos squared A. I'm going to divide that by 2 cos squared A minus 1, which is still there. Right? And now I can conclude, because I've shown that the left-hand side gives me this thing over here, right? And I've shown that the right-hand side gives me exactly the same thing. And this tells me that I can conclude that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Okay, and so there's an example where we've seen I can't go completely from left-hand side all the way to the right-hand side. 
I work to a point, I get stuck at that point, I then start on the right hand side, I get stuck at the same point, and if I get stuck at the same point, I can conclude 